Hiya, um, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be making a leaf bowl. So we've been up to the forest again for our daily exercise and we've picked up some leaves. We've made sure that they've got quite raised veins on them because we're going to need that when we press them into the clay. So first stage of this project is to make the clay. You can make either a salt dough or you can make a, an air drying clay and we've got the recipe for both. So the salt dough, which will need baking for about an hour and a half in the oven or we can microwave it. I'll talk to you about that later when we get to that stage. Um, you're going to need a cup of plain flour, half a cup of salt, and half a cup of warm water. And then you just need to mix. You can use a mixer, you can use a food processor, or you can mix it in a bowl by hand. Um, I know small people generally <laughs> like getting muddy, and well, not muddy, but messy, and will love making this in the bowl. Um, those of you that would prefer to have it pre-made, if you've got younger kids and you don't want to get it everywhere, um, you can just make it beforehand in the food processor and it will actually stay in the fridge um, wrapped up in plastic for a while. So that's the salt dough recipe. The next recipe, um, I'm quite excited about this one, is for air drying clay. Uh, you can buy this, but if you can't get it delivered, um, we've got air drying clay here is one cup of corn flour and half a cup of school or PVA glue. You then mix it. Again, you can do this by hand or you can do it in the food processor. Now I plan on doing them both um, in the food processor. I have a small person who I think is probably planning on getting rather messy because he really wants to do the air drying clay in a bowl. So come back to us in a couple of minutes um, and we should have two different types of clay for you. Salt dough, well two lots of dough, one lot of salt dough which as you can see comes out uh, much yellower in colour, it's quite a gritty texture and then one lot of the air drying clay which is much much smoother and very white. Um, so I mean I prefer the less mess of the salt dough um, but Patrick thoroughly enjoyed the air drying clay um, it took us two minutes to make and eight minutes to clean his hands after so we're now going to make the bowl so Patrick's going to stand up because it's much much easier to roll when you're standing up and he's actually going to work with the air drying clay so the set of the salt dough so we've cut it in half because he's not going to need all of it and he's just going to flatten it first on the table. Now we're using greaseproof paper just to try and minimise the mess and the amount it sticks to the table. So Patrick is now going to lay another piece of greaseproof paper on the top and he's going to press it down with his hands first and then roll it with a rolling pin. So that's it and now he's going to start rolling. So you want your bowl to be about half a centimetre thick because otherwise it's going to take far too long to cook. Um, he's going to turn it round so it's even, so spin it round, that's it, and then roll it the other way. Nice even pressure all the way across, that's it, and then peel off the greaseproof paper. That's it, right, at this point we're going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top and just give it a rub over the top so that the leaf doesn't stick. So we're going to do that, there we go. Right. Patrick's now going to place the leaf vein side down onto the piece of salt dough and is going to very gently roll over the top of it with the rolling pin again. Um, you can put the greasy paper on the top or you don't need to really at this point. But, and he's going to press quite firmly because he wants to make sure we get as much detail as we can. Okay. Excellent. Right, so... Very carefully with a sharp knife. Now when I say sharp knife, this is one that we've used before for weeding, so it's no longer sharp, but it was originally sharp, so we've got quite a nice point. And he's going to very carefully cut round his bowl um, until he's just left with the shape of the leaf that's still on there. So we'll come back to you in just a minute. So we've cut round the outside. Patrick's now going to remove all the pieces that we don't want anymore. Um, very gently pulling it away from the leaf. That's it. All the way around. And then we're going to leave it on the parchment paper, on the greaseproof paper. Um, and we are going to get rid of all these little bits here so we've got some space to work. Um, do we want this bit here? No? Okay. Let's get rid of that bit then. Perfect. Patrick can speak, you know, I just wanted to make you aware. Hello. Say so. Hello, right, thank you, yeah. He sat there very quietly, it's very unusual. Right, so, 
He's now going to very, very carefully peel away the leaf and hopefully we should be left with the imprint of the leaf on the clay. Ooh, it's all exciting. There we go. So we're left with this lovely, lovely imprint. Now we want to make this into a bowl. So the easiest way to do that is to pop it in a bowl, which is what we've done with this one here. Um, this one we've started baking. Um, so we're going to bring it back. We have the bowl here. Patrick's going to very carefully, leaving it on the greasy paper, place it into the bowl and gently push it down into the shape of the bowl. Because if you press it too hard, you're going to lose all of your veins. Now, you can bake this in the oven for an hour and a half or you can microwave it. Okay, if you microwave it, there is a chance that it will bubble because it heats too quickly. So, these are the microwave instructions. Please excuse it being a little bit rumpled. So you leave the dough right on the, on the paper, microwave for 10 seconds, leave it for 10 seconds, microwave for another 10 seconds, then on the third round up to 20 seconds, and you continue in 20 second blasts until the dough is dry and hard. Okay, so... We are going to go away and we're actually going to bake ours um, and then we will come back when they are ready. We're also going to have, um, we're going to use the air drying clay as well. We'll make one of those and then when that's ready we'll come back and we'll paint them and decorate them and we'll see you then. Okay, so we're back. Um, the salt dough has dried out and so has the air drying clay we've left it overnight and it's quite firm so that's the air drying clay and this is the salt dough can you turn it over for us patrick so we can see the design on the inside lovely so it's got a really really nice goldeny brown color which is quite nice actually but patrick decided he wants to paint his blue so we're using acrylic paints because that's what i happen to have in the house and they do stick better uh, you'll find if you put anything on like poster paints the salt dough will soak it up a bit because it's just dried out so it'll just want to rehydrate itself so what you can do is you can mix poster paint with pva half and half um, and it will make it into a kind of acrylic it will give you a slightly glossy feel to it and it will give you um not necessarily a waterproof sheen but it will certainly be a little bit more resilient so we'll come back in about five minutes when patrick has finished painting and you can see the finished piece Okay, so we're back. Patrick has now painted. Can you pick it up so they can see the bottom and the top? Beautiful. Yep, pop it back down again so it dries. So we're working on greaseproof paper again just to keep the surfaces clean. So, Patrick, you have done quite heavy paint around the outside and then a wash in the middle. What made you decide to do that? Because I didn't want the... I still wanted to see the detail of the, like, the veins in the leaf. Okay, so you wanted, yeah, so th by doing just a wash, we've managed to still get all of those details in and not lose them with the really thick paint. So that's how to make a leaf bowl. Um, tomorrow we are going to be doing some weaving, um, just with sticks in the house. We'll show you three or four different ways of doing it, different setups, um, and all of it's stuff that you can use, uh, you can find in the house or um, in the garden. So we'll see you tomorrow.